Rex Hewerman has been isolated in jail for his own safety. And he's depressed. He's very depressed. That's I'm surprised they even and lonely posted that story. Well, it was in the court hearing that was just what? recently happened. Yeah, what were this they past arguing? Tuesday. Um, they want mental health help for him. Yeah, I'm sure all your victims were lonely too. And look, I. I understand he's not convicted yet. Like, I get it, okay? But there are cases out there that you can hang your hat on. And if you have read the 1,200 pages or more, it's more, but at, the, at least 1,200 pages of this arrest warrant and document, uh, documenting the evidence against Rex Hewerman, Oof, you guys. Yeah, so he is getting counseling. Um, and I don't know if he's asking to be let out into general population I or mean, something. Because he's in isolation for his own safety. Um, and I, the lawyer just brought that up. There is no there is no uh camera recording of the proceedings, so it's not like I know exactly what the lawyer said, except for what was reported in articles by reporters that were there. Um, and they that's all they really said is that his lawyer, Michael Brown, brought up that the isolation is making him feel lonely and depressed, and he's getting counseling, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Um, and this is also coming after it also um humanizes him. <laughs> Yeah. I almost wonder if that was the goal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because people are seeing him as an ogre. Like a murderous ogre. I mean, look. And he is. Yeah. Based off the evidence. He's a what monster. I'm reading, he absolutely is. And I think he's a true sociopath. So can he be depressed in the same ways that a normal human can? Or is this a ploy uh, from the defense to reduce the possibility of, uh, wait, I don't think they do death penalty there. I don't think it's a death penalty state, right? I, I don't, don't think, think so. so. Yeah. Um, so is there some way he's at the age, there's no way he's going to get out. Even if he had a 20 year sentence or something like that, like he's probably going to pass in there. Um, but, uh, there's so, so I don't much, know. there's I don't so know. much evidence. There is no way he's getting away with this. There is the, no the way. The only way I could see any sort of reduced sentencing at all is if he turned fed and helped point out any officers that were involved if they were able to find actual evidence of officer involvement. That is the only way I could see this man getting any sort of reduction. You know, what's also interesting is that the woman who wrote the affidavit um, that was about the swinger party and mm -hmm. seeing Karen Vergata running, she did an interview on Banfield and came forward and, and actually showed her face and talked about it all. And I thought that wow. was crazy. Like the interview was pretty good. Um, I was, I was just very surprised by that. Um, but she, I feel like hearing it from her was interesting. Like yeah. actually hearing it from her talking about it, yeah, and uh, her boyfriend and everything. And the way she explained it, it just more makes like that. You know, they went there, which I didn't realize this when we read the affidavit. They went there in one car, and when they left, they left in a different car. Meaning he had a good relationship with Hewerman. Yeah, that's strange. They left in a different car. Very strange. Isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's but also like been... like I said, I think that's the only way. John Ray also did a symposium, uh, which I haven't got to watch all of, and the audio's rough. But there's more affidavits now from more women and ones even of him when he was younger, like stalking her behind a tree while she went for a jog. Oh. 
I mean, that doesn't surprise me. The lengths that he went to, like Rex Hewerman didn't get caught for a very long time because he was, you know, checking his P's and Q's. He was. And uh, he had some kind of connection somehow in some way. Yep. Mm hmm. But um, they also uh, turned over new DNA evidence uh, because he was. I guess we haven't updated on this part of the case yet, but he has been charged with the fourth murder um, of Marine Bernard Barnes, um, mm -hmm. which is the one that everyone, everybody's been waiting for. Like, when are they finally going to charge him with the fourth? Um, well, there's just crazy new details that honestly, it'd probably be worth looking into and talking about further with all the new it, hair and everything. There are a lot of new details and I mm -hmm. thought about covering it as a case tonight, you guys, but I have uncovered so many new details that I, I literally, it's going to take a while for me to formulate all of it because there are there's some insane information out there now, and I'm not talking just the forensic evidence with the hairs and the DNA. There is a lot more out there. I know. Um, and it's wild stuff. Uh, but they turned over 3,000 police tips and a bunch of documents, um, DNA evidence in this court case. Um, I, the 3,000 tips is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious what they're going to find in there. Um, they also talked about, you know, what's interesting is I keep hearing a co-defendant or like being mentioned. In a press conference after the court hearing, his, uh, his attorney came out and he hinted towards another person. Hmm. Well, all right. I so... I don't know who, how is it going to end up being his wife? Is it going to end up being that other guy that we're hearing about? Like what, what is it going to end up being? Right. Mm. I'm really curious because I've been hearing a lot of chatter for a long time that people believe there's a ring of these people in that area. Um, and I, I'm really starting to think there's something to that. I did kind of think there was something to that when you mentioned the search results, mm. his Google search history. And you're yep. like, how does he know that video's out there? Yeah, He is so specific. He had to already know that was out there. Meaning there's probably a ring of these sickos, you know? Mm -hmm. So, and with the uh, 11 other victims, which honestly, all of them pretty much fit his MO too. But maybe it's that group's MO. Could be. So, I don't know. I just wanted to talk about it because I thought it was interesting. And boo-hoo, Rex Hurman is depressed. Yeah. Poor guy. <laughs> just kidding. But let me know what you guys think. If there's anything specific that you have seen about the Gilgo case that you want me to dive deeper into, let me know. But other than that, Next week, be expecting a really deep dive into some interesting, like, satellite cases that could be Rex Hewerman and new details that I was blown away by. Yeah, I'm excited for it. 